a level of change really unlike anything we've seen. And have you noticed how it is increasing in velocity and complexity? It's so pervasive, it's every corner of our lives. And sometimes all of that adds up to this sort of sense of digital anxiety. And sometimes that change is so overwhelming, we just kind of feel like that, right? We just want to put our head in the sand, dig our heels in and just do what we did yesterday, do what's comfortable or what's familiar. But we gotta look outside ourselves and our business as usual activities to try something completely different. Libby Gill is one of those people who gets it. She oversaw the publicity campaigns for a number of seriously successful TV shows that, you know, everybody heard about, Mad About You, Married with Children, and Jeopardy, and Little Fortune. There were so many. So she's had a lot of change in her life that she's navigated and landed on her feet. If you think about this, belief that change is possible. Now that sounds obvious, but think of the people you know that don't actually believe change is possible, including people that you work with, clients, prospects, it's that first deep belief that change is possible. And second, the expectation that what you do as an individual will have a positive impact on your future. So you combine belief that change is possible, expectation that the actions you take will have a positive impact, not only on yourself, but on your clients, on your community. For some people, those great leaders of the world, have a global impact. And what it means in the workplace is that belief drives behavior. What do you think is the one trait that distinguishes a truly great leader? There's one other trait that I think is the most significant and the most overlooked, and that element is hope. Hope actually comes from an old English word, hopian, which means to leap forward with expectation. It lets you look at the future knowing that there are hurdles and obstacles and proceeding anyway. As leaders, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we often get sidetracked by all these multiple paths we could take. Not that you don't have many priorities, but just think about that one overriding vision. Clarify that vision for yourself in dollars and percentage growth and accomplishment, whatever it's meaningful to you that is also measurable. Then you simplify the path. What's the bottom line? How do you make it not complicated? The world is complicated enough but we've got to look at ways to simplify so we can free up the brain for creative thought, strategy, innovation, for those other ideas to pop in, and so that other people can connect with a simple, grand idea. So it's clarify the vision, simplify the path, and execute the plan. That, to me, is the whole secret to success. Are thrilled with what they're able to actually take out of the session and implement as soon as they get back to work. Her guidance, her wisdom, she does an amazing job in helping us grow, achieve, and connect. So it's really about this, this vision of the future that is fueled by passion but grounded in pragmatism. And that's what high hope people do. We set more goals. We believe in our own agency. We believe we can take us to a better tomorrow, a better future. We reach the goal because we've got our eyes open to what the setbacks will be, and we believe it's worth fighting for.